Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. I'm here to let you guys know that Janice and I just dropped a special episode this week on our Patreon for members. In this episode, Janice and I take a deep dive into the theories we discuss at the end of episode one, and then we give you some of the gory details on the actual murder of Bugsy. It's extremely interesting. Here's a clip of the episode, and if you feel enticed to hear the whole thing, please find us on Patreon and become a member. It only costs $3, and you'd be able to listen to an episode from us every week instead of every other week, which is what you'll get with the other free listening sites. So without further ado, here's the clip. And so in May of 1947, Bugsy threatened Sedway's life. And that really angered Lansky because Uh Bo was Lansky's point guy who kept track of all the money that Lansky was fronting for the construction of the Uh Flamingo. But Bugsy felt like he was being treated like a kid, like being watched over and he hated it because he wanted to be able to just do his thing. But... He was seriously being watched. Like, you know, when you go into a casino today and you have all the the cameras looking over you? Well, it's like a person looking over your shoulder and not just knowing that the cameras are like, they're there. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of how he felt. So in March of 1947, Bugsy called a meeting of all of his his associates Mm -hmm. in Las Vegas, except for Moe Sedway, and stated, I want Moe out. Oh. The discussion got really heated and some of the associates like asked him like how he wanted to get him out and he said that he would be able to cover his tracks because he would have Mo shot, he would chop up his body and feed it to the Flamingo Kitchen's garbage disposal. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. So apparently he had yeah. thought about this yeah. before the meeting. That's premeditated murder, yo, on your freaking lifelong friend. Yeah, for real. Oh my gosh. Okay.